Hello Sagittarius, this is your February guidance. We will be looking at your general energy for the month. We will take a look at love and career as well. This is going to be for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising signs. We'll get a card for each aspect and then we will also get some guidance for each just to help you along your journey. So let's begin by getting one card for your general overall energy for February. And again, this is for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising signs. Sagi, what is your general energy for the month? Wow, you've got the King of Pentacles for your general energy, Sag. Nice. What about for your love life? <laughs> what kind of energy do you carry for your love life? You've got the hangman. Okay. And when it comes to career, you've got the four of cups. Okay. All right. Let's clarify, shall we? All right, so Sag, when it comes to your overall energy, what is the King of Pentacles to you? What does it represent? We will see. I've got to clarify the Knight of Cups in reverse. energy here, um, Sag, is one of a king of pentacles. I feel like you're very focused on your career or you're very focused on your projects, your abundance, your stability, your future maybe. It feels like you're putting all of your energy in this aspect of your life and you don't have much else to give anywhere else. Um, it's like you're purposely holding back, not wanting to give. And I think this could be in love. I feel like the Sun card, you know, with the Knight of Cups energy, it feels like this is something that you've put on hold. Like, yeah, with the Hangman, you've put on hold. This is something that you're not pursuing yet, although I feel that whatever this is actually does bring you happiness. And it could just be out of necessity that you need to focus your energy um, on, your, on your career or your stability. So that seems to be the overall energy for February. What about love life? Why do we have the hangman? Why are you holding back? Why are you not taking action towards something? Let us see. You've got the strength card. The ace of wands and we've got the devil. Okay. Let's cover that up because, you know. I kind of feel like uh, right now, you just, you don't want to deal with something. I feel like you don't want to deal with love life. Um, it's like you don't want to start something maybe that you can't follow through on or that you can't finish. Um, and I feel like you feel this is the best thing for now. I feel like it is taking a lot of your energy to not pursue whatever this is. You could just be feeling overwhelmed. Maybe you just... I don't know, are moody and crabby for the month of February. <laughs> I don't see this devil as being heavy in a sense that it's malicious or anything like that. I just feel like you're not wanting to explore something right now. You're not wanting to rock the boat, I guess is what I'm going to say. So let us see what your career energy is. Why do we have the Four of Cups for your career energy? Five of Wands in reverse. Hangman energy. Um, I think I think for February, Sag, you're really holding a lot of your energy back. Even in your career, it feels like. But if you're going to focus on anything, I feel like it's career as well. Okay, so I'm getting a sense that you're sad. 
There is something about you feeling sad. Wow. Mind blown. I gotta share. Look at the bottom of the deck of these two of these two cards, these two card decks. Um, the Seven of Swords is strong for some reason. Okay, when it comes to your career, it feels like you are not motivated. It feels like there's either a lack or just unhappiness, maybe even apathy at this point, but you're still succeeding. It feels like, you know, maybe you're not doing as much work or you're doing the work, but you're not as motivated, but you're still successful right and it, and maybe at this point in time in your life you're feeling like if there is anything i'm going to concentrate on now i'll concentrate on career because i've got success there even if even if i'm not enjoying it as much even if i may be even a little you may even be a little bored there's just something here where okay i'm just going to do this for now right now the seven of swords energy that i'm seeing here I feel like, I feel like really you're running away from something. And I think it's this love aspect. It feels like you're trying to run away from whatever this love um, situation is. You don't want to face it. You're holding back from it. And it's not the healthiest energy, right, Sag? Um, we should be facing things head on. We should be you know, confronting what we need to confront so that there's progress rather than keep it in this you know stale and stagnant energy but again i feel for february you're just choosing to not pay attention to that you're choosing to focus on where you're good at or what you're good at and that seems to be what you want to do so <laughs> um let's get guidance for your career sash what's the guidance for your career guidance for your career you've got loneliness I know that I am never alone you've got health I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul so I'm gonna say Sag that it, career or just that part of your life where you're putting you know a lot of energy into because that's what you want to be stable you could be feeling alone or you could just be feeling a bit empty in that aspect because <laughs> um, you're not feeling as fulfilled you know um, it is saying don't overwork yourself your body is important get enough sleep hydrate eat well exercise you know do the things that you need to do to honor your body so that you can keep up you know because the stagnant energy and then your body is, is weak and is not at its best, it's really going to bring you down, okay? So you need, to, you need to work on that. Now let's take a look at love. I am curious about what you are trying to avoid here. Um, what is this energy that Sag carries when it comes to love? What do we need to know? We have forming structure and solid foundation. I'm so sorry. Why is that not? Okay. <laughs> sorry about that. Let me get this out of the way and we can then cover that. And the other card that fell to the side is self-care. Energy. Exactly. I feel like overall, you really need to take care of yourself at this time, Sag. Um you know when it comes to your love life it's like you're being asked to start forming a foundation for whatever this is whatever the situation is you can't leave it hanging like it's been hanging for probably some time now you're gonna have to eventually face it although i feel like you don't want to but you're gonna have to eventually face it and there is someone here for you i think so i'm gonna pull some messages um I am not pulling messages for all the zodiacs. It depends on the situation where I feel it's needed and I think you need a little encouragement. So what kind of message does your person have for you at this time? Right, Sag? What kind of message? It says, I awaken to our connection. 
why is it not focusing? Okay, I awaken to our connection, it says. What else? What other message do we have for Sag here? Something to kind of encourage Sag here to do something. <laughs> oh my, we have a few. Okay, it says, I'm so sorry my camera is not like, okay. It says, you are my beauty. Okay, it says, dreaming of you, missing you is unbearable. This person wants to be with you, Sag. What are you doing? And our connection is beyond distance and time. They want you to know, doesn't matter how long it takes. So I hope that encourages you a little bit because I do feel you need to take some some sort of action here. Um, Sag, there's something that you need to be doing when it comes to your love life, okay? Um, let's go on to your overall general energy. What kind of guidance do you need? We are going to be getting uh, one card to see what spirit animal you need to embody for the month of February. Okay, Sag, what is, Sag, what is Sagittarius's spirit animal? What is Sagittarius spirit animal? Wow, I think, um, I do believe Leo got the same. I think it's Leo. Let me focus that so you can read it. What is up with my camera? I'm so sorry, guys. There you go. Dragon, supernatural. You are the ancient wise sage. You can shape shift at will. Mastery is your destiny. Rise with dignity. Again, like I told Leo, because I think this was what they also got. You got to believe in yourself enough to take the action that you know you want to take, okay? There's something about needing to finally do something here. Um, and I think you need to believe that you have what it takes, you know, that you can do this. At the bottom of the deck, we've got Orca Whale, okay? And it says adventure. Dare to do things differently. Sing your wild song. Manifest your travel dreams. Attempt the great journey with confidence. Be loyal. Friends and family are your treasures. Be brave. You are more powerful than you know. So this is what you need to know. Okay, Sag, you need to take all of that, embody it, be the orca whale, be the dragon, and take care of all of this. <laughs> So that's what I have for you, Saj, in the month of February, and I will see you in March.